So in part 9 of my CNC router build, I'll be machining a sprocket out of brass and aluminum for my electric bike. So in a previous video, I made a steel sprocket by hand for my electric bike. Over time, I realized that this sprocket wasn't really balanced, and I think I can fix that by making one using my CNC router. The bit I'll be using is a white side 8th inch bit. I started off by cutting out an aluminum sprocket. The feed for the CNC router is set at 10 inches per minute and cutting at 4 thousandths of an inch per pass. Overall, this speed and depth setting worked extremely well for aluminum and brass. Then I tested it on my electric bike. After one mile, this sprocket was extremely beat up, especially for such a short run time. Now that the aluminum sprocket didn't work, I ended up researching other materials to use and it seems like 360 brass is a lot stronger and harder with very similar machinability characteristics to aluminum. So after realizing this sprocket wouldn't work, I ended up machining another sprocket out of 360 brass. Then I sanded the sprocket to give an angle on each tooth. Now I install the brass sprocket onto the shaft of the motor and attach the chain. So now after riding for about 3 miles, I looked at the sprocket to see how it was holding up and I have to say I'm really impressed. Compared to the aluminum sprocket, this one is so much more durable. Overall, I'm pretty impressed on how my CNC router can now machine brass and aluminum. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.